Minecraft 1.3.2. This is SciGuy1121, and let's go ahead and get started. It, uh, um, okay, so, short little update thing right now. If you're wondering why I haven't done hardly any videos in the past two weeks, I am currently update, up, uploading an update video I did uh, that was about 10 minutes long that I just finished. Um, it's uploading right now, so that should be up by the time this is uploaded. Uh, go ahead and watch that. I cover some very important stuff in the video um, that I and and some stuff that I would like you guys' support for um, that you want to see on my channel. So, <coughs> sorry. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I would recommend you go watch it. Anyway, onto the tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be a little bit short for reasons I have explained in that video. Um, and I'm just going to cover how, well, ah, don't do that. I'm just going to cover how we can make our block drop multiple items. Um, and it's really, really simple. All we need to do is we just need to go public. Oh, and I'm in our block tutorial block file. Uh, public int quantity dropped random rand. And we're just going to return the number um, of items we want. So we could say return four. I don't know why I chose four. I just chose four. And that'll drop four items. Um, now, we may want to drop a random number of items. So we could say rand dot next int. And we could say four. So this will drop zero to four items. Uh, we could say um, rand dot next int and you know I thought there was one. I guess I was wrong. But we could say return rand dot next. Oh, um, also thanks to. Okay, I forgot your username. But you explained in one of my furnace videos what, um, what, if I can find it really quickly, what uh, this kind of statement was. I was very confused. And actually, I've been using it. I realized I've been using it in Objective-C programming for a long time now. Um, uh, but you explained it very, very well. So thank you to that, uh, to that person for explaining that. But we could say return rand dot, and I'm going to use that right now, rand dot next int uh, 5 equal equal 0, question mark, um, rand dot, um, okay, I sort of forget how to do it in Java. Then we're just going to return 1 and then a colon, and actually I'm just going to say int i equals rand dot next int 5, this will make this a bit easier on me, and I'm just going to say return i equal equals 0 question mark, so if i is true, it er, is 0, return 1, because we don't want it dropping 0 items, um, otherwise return I. So, now if I run the program, actually not the pro get out. I don't care if there are updates available for my computer. And I just load the world, which may crash on me because I was testing out some stuff with potions and it corrupted most of my saves. You'll see I had to generate a new world. Um, if I put down the tutorial block, you know, I shouldn't, yeah, good, okay, game mode zero, slash, game mode one, I need to give myself a pickaxe, sorry about the lag, I don't know why it's lagging so much, it's just loading the chunks, I guess, and... Now, if I destroy it, it's taking forever. 
you'll see it did not drop a bunch of blocks. Um, because I had an error. Okay, I'm just going to say return for. Let's see if this works. I may need to work on it. Um, it's a little bit different in Objective-C as compared to uh, Java, that kind of if statement is. So, it's a, so, I may have gotten that wrong. There we go. Okay, so you can see it dropped four or five um, blocks. It's a little bit less apparent. Um, but yeah, so, uh, that's that. Uh, sorry this was a short tutorial. I just don't have a ton of time today, and I don't have a ton of stuff uh, that I've I, I've been testing, and uh, not a lot of it has worked very well. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to do um, how to make new mobs, uh, which is what I want to do um, pretty soon. So sorry, this was a short video. Um, it was rather important, but yeah. So um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.